Hey everyone, welcome back to Doc Six Studios. This week, Orc Commandos Kill Team. That's right, we got 12 models to do. But what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna do four. And I'm gonna do each four, I think, in a different theme kind of thing. Uh, may maybe a different similar theme. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, right? Um, anyway, um, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. Let's get in there. I think today we're painting up uh, Commando Knob, uh, Commando Slasher Boy, Commando Rocket Boy, and God, where was the other one? Uh, where is he? Oh, and Commando Sniper Boy. I think he's my favorite, actually. Anyway, guys, let's get to it. Let's take a look at these commandos and see what's in the box here. Been holding on to these for a while. Looking forward to them. It's October, so it's October, right? What do we have? Bases, decals, and lots of orcs. Here we go, we got four commandos from the orc kill team. We're gonna do four for the next couple weeks. And so three weeks, we're gonna do four. There we go, kill team, Orktober. Gotta do orcs in October, yeah, right? the four orcs for this week are Commander Knob, Commando Slasher Boy, Commando Rocket Boy, and Commander Sniper Boy. He's I think he's my favorite. Yeah, he's pretty sick. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna paint these four up for uh Orktober, right? We're gonna get these busted out this week. So it's gonna be Orktober all Arc October, right? So we're gonna knock out orcs all month long. Uh maybe in a couple little other extra little orc things that I've got going on, some other stuff that I've built uh that it needs to be touched up. We'll talk about that probably this week. But uh, here we go, we're gonna prime these up, we're gonna get them painted, and get them ready. And these are actually gonna be for sale. Uh, once the set's done, I'm gonna sell the Kill Team on eBay. So, look forward to that, stay tuned for that. All right, let's get the prime and uh, zenith on these guys. Painter, painter. All right. That looks a little nasty. All right, let's get some thinner. Same step as usual. Just priming. Zenithal, Slasher Boy, Zenithal. Commando Noob, or Knob, sorry, Knob. That's pretty sick. There we go, here's, uh, what is he? Rocket, Rocka, what is it? Rocket Boy. Commando Kill Team, and then Commando Sniper Boy. Ah, he's my favorite. That's a badass gun. All right, those are the four we're doing this week. We're gonna knock those out. Right here we went ahead and used uh, contrast uh, color uh, play bear flesh for the orc skin. Uh, I ended up doing a double coat on that. Uh, uh, it, uh, the first layer was just a bit too thin and I really laid it on there. So we went with the second coat and but now we're going to end up doing moonlight uh, along with firelight. So we changed directions on this which is fine. Actually we changed directions and then now we're coming back and going the same direction which is great. 
Let's give you a rundown of what we've done so far. We primed it. Uh, we, we did the base skin green, which was Plague Bear green. Just slapped some of that on. And then I took some... I actually did a Xenophil, which I probably didn't need to. But we went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and then we ended up spraying the back. That's where the moonlight's going to go. And the front will be where they're running by something burning. A burning building, a burning car, an exploded tank, whatever it may be. So they're going to be lit up in the front with OSL and they're going to have moonlight or darkness in the back to give them a very contrasty look. So just to give you a look of, of what we did, see the front, normal, zenithal, all that good stuff. And when we slowly start turning around, you can see where that, 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 uh, that black, I sprayed that black over the green just to give it that subtle transition. Same here. black front looking good this guy's probably my favorite so he'll be running at the firelight right or standing at the firelight and then you turn around and we'll have the moonlight on the back side what I'm doing here is I'm going ahead and I'm, I'm actually painting the metal uh, just a metallic metal just a dark base metal so when it uh, when I do the, the OSL it'll have a little glint of metal in it um, just getting here and there, not trying to go crazy, just a little bit. Even in the black area, I want it to give it a little metallic look. So, <clears throat> yep, and we are using steel to do that. So I will, like for instance, let's uh, put some, just real quick, and just on the blade. I'm gonna go back and do the OSL again. So, uh, I just want this metal to stand out. Simple. We'll do that for all the metal, all the way around, everyone. Now we're going to uh, spray some white ink on the front where you can see the white is. I'm going to cover up uh, some of that gun and some of the face where the fire from the explosion or the f something burning in front of them will, will light up his face and cover up the green. I wanted the green to come through. That's why I painted the stuff green. So we're going to do this, uh, the OSL with the white ink and then we will end up going over it with the orange, yellow orange. And then on the back we're going to do a moonlight theme. All right. So let's do the white ink. And I may even do a little bit of white on the back as well uh, to uh, make some stuff stand out. So right. let's do it. I had to stop for a minute. I had to end up using uh, some rubber. I, I wanted to get this in there. I'm just kind of touching up like just small things like straps real lightly, just going over just to give it a bit of color before I put the OSL over the top of it. Nothing crazy, I'm not trying to get all detail. I may use a couple small washes just to maybe put a green tint on a shirt or some pants or something like that. But that's about it. And then we're gonna do the the, the, the OSL. So just wanted to get that step in there. So just little things like the bullets here. Um, I don't know, little, little, just little things. Just dark, just lighten it up a little bit gray. Just to give it a color, all right? I went ahead and experimented on this guy. Instead of spraying uh, the OSL Moonlight on the back, I just ended up doing a mixture of Pro Croak Blue with, with the rubber to give it just a matte, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a matte varnish over that. I may even darken that down a little bit. Just I just wanted to have a little bit of color because I really want the front to pop when we get the, the white ink and, and the, the yellow orange. So anyway, we, we changed routes. I like this. This is, a, this is all doing this by brush as well. Um, Getting it here and there. All right. Like and subscribe. The uh, the blue and the uh, rubber on the model. Just real quick. Just just kind of slapped it on everywhere. And uh, I may touch it up with a little bit of highlight here and there. But I really want it to be dark and just kind of dull and have a little bit of color, right? So I think that'll do it. Now we're gonna bust the ink straight here we're gonna do our our osl on all four of these these are looking pretty good look at the back i mean it's 
and you kind of spin him. Boom. Got everything where I wanted to. Now I'm going to, again, knock it out. Well, here we are, the moment of truth. We're going to spray the, the OSL from the explosion or the fire in the distance or very close to them now. And we're going to hit it up with white ink as usual. Um, we're going to have, each one's going to have a specific direction. So this one's going to be side. I believe this one's going to be direct here. This one's going to be straight on and this guy's going to be straight on as well. Bit. I think we're good. So I said sideways, so this is where we're gonna go. Let's get the fire light. Last but not least, real easy. All right, there we go. Sprayed the fronts with the yellow-orange ink. Did some white highlights. All right, let's take a look at the back. More darkness. Oh, oh, a little bit of OSL there. Last one. So there they are. All right, a couple little touches. We got a base. We got a light that will do OSL on the base, and then we're pretty much done. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, we painted up the four. Uh, we did the uh, we did the the guys are running at night, right? And in front of them or in the distance or or fairly close, there's a big fire, an explosion, which is lighting the front of them up. Um, I, I think we did pretty well. Maybe went a little overboard on the on the front, but you know what? If they're close to a fire, they're going to be lit up, right? Uh, so anyway, that's why I see it. I, I think they turned out great. Next week we're going to do another four, and I'm not sure which four, but we'll do. 
a, a theme that's uh, fairly similar. Maybe maybe we'll do the night, or maybe we'll, we'll do the opposite. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. But I've got four other snipers, and let's see who do we have left. We got Breacher Boy, Daka Boy, Commander Boy, Commando Boy. There's a couple regular guys, I guess. Uh, bomb and Bomb Squig. Oh, I like squigs. <laughs> Uh, Commando Grot. Oh, we got a little gobby in there. Uh, Comms Boy and Burna Boy. So we got a few to do. A couple small ones in there, right there. Also, Kill Team, right? Pow. All right. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. Uh, next week, like I said, we're going to be doing some orcs. Um, uh, also, uh, let me know uh, what color uh, kind of glow. I'm, I'm going to do a kind of a a glow theme, really. I mean, across OSL, basically, across these guys. You know, these commandos cruising into the battlefield and jacking stuff up. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, let me know in the description below. Uh, maybe a green glow, red glow, white glow, blue glow. I don't know, something different. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time.